All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. Today is Wednesday, and you guys decided Dark Lords. Interesting, interesting. I was like, ah, oh, Dark Lords, I'm not sure about that. You know, they don't they don't have any, uh, they don't have any uh, spells and traps here. They're mostly spells and traps, and then it got put on the polls. You guys voted on it, and then they got spells and traps. So I guess we'll try it and back at it again with the blue eyes. Maybe, maybe. Actually, not, no, maybe, maybe not. No, maybe not, you know? Uh, Sage of the Blues has a lot of searching, so, you know, that that's not too terrible. Anyway, we are playing Dark Lord, so, uh, I mean, I should be able to pull off some pretty powerful plays. We're going to go ahead and activate you, pitch you, draw two. So, uh, you may not like it, you may not like it, and if you don't, I apologize, but we're actually playing the Monarch Engine, because I kind of feel like the Monarch Engine is a little bit stronger in this case uh, to help this deck out with its plays. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and actually do Pantheism and shit, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, I got my, uh, my strong-ass Lucifer, so I can summon him, and then he can go ahead and summon as well, so, I mean, let's go, let's go freaking uh, <laughs> let's go freaking Monarchs, right? I might have to up Domain to freaking uh, to three. I might have to do that, so. The Veiler? I mean, can he Veiler me? I think he can. He can't even show someone. You can special summon Dark Lord Monsters from my hand up to the number of monsters, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab me a, another Pantheism. So, hopefully we get that ban list soon, Monarchs get hit, but, uh, if you don't like the fact that I'm using, uh, uh, Monarchs with the deck, I apologize. And that's actually the topic of today's, uh, oh, I'm gonna get Valored. I'm gonna get Valored right now. Like, alright. I mean, that's not terrible, but it kind of sucks. Like, it kind of sucks. I was just thinking, I was like, oh, it's like, wait a minute, he got the Veiler. Like, he can Veiler me. So, pretty powerful Sage of the Eyes, uh, with Eyes of Blue, can go ahead and search Effect Veiler. Like, that's crazy good. I wonder if it's cost like 20 bucks, right? <laughs> so, I think I'm okay right now. Next turn, I can go, once again, do my draw effect. I, uh, my uh, Allure of Darkness, Dark Lord plays. Okay, so it is Blue Eyes. So once again, facing blue eyes. Back at it again with the facing of blue eyes. Like, all right. And blue eyes can easily fuck me up. And we're all, you're also trading in and drawing and shit. Like, all right. <laughs> you know, we have them draw cards. They're pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> if he gets his fucking uh, Chaos Max, I'm fucked. <laughs> I mean, I'm not looking too hot right now. I'm not looking too gravy. Uh, I'm only running two domain, but I should probably have to have three so I can reveal three domain and get three domain, you know. Uh, that'd be smart, Daniel. Like, uh, I was like, eh, I'm trying to find room, <laughs> you know? Trying to find room. Yep, go ahead and get your alt alternate tentative back. Ah, uh, Blue Eyes. I'm so sick and tired of seeing this deck. Like, can this deck already come out and just be top tier shit so I can just be like, all right, no more meta? <laughs> you know? Because holy shit, just dr Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes. I face this deck every single fucking day. Every single fucking day, people. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and synchro summon into spirit, attack me, so I don't get my and then negate my effects, so I don't get this pantheism back. Smart, 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 smart. I thought you were just gonna. Oh, oh yeah. Well, no, no, that nah, no, nah. no, it wasn't smart. If I were you, I would synchro summon into spirit and then attack me and then negate it my effect. Like, I didn't really like that. Yeah, because you can negate graveyard effects, right? Like, that's pretty powerful. <clears throat> but uh. Yeah, so I got, I got a couple of you saying that you don't want me to do a perform of Pals and Aliens. Alright then, I'll try to do something. Did you just negate your own shit? Wow, rip. Rip, negated your own shit. Alright, alright, sure. Sure, yeah, yeah, just quit, just quit. Negate your own shit, fucking, mmm. Get another door and bear back. So, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if it's the perform of Pals or what, but innovation, you know, innovation. Uh, <laughs> you guys kind of stuck me with the raw one here. You guys vote for like these lower tier kind of shitty decks, you really do. But then you turn around, and I, I'm guessing that maybe some of you guys think it's funny that if I lose, but there, there's a difference between, you know, me losing because I get sacked and me just losing because I didn't even have a chance, you know? And that would pretty much be it. So next week, I guess we'll try Aliens just pure. You know, but I, I thought the performer pals were putting in work, and I guess maybe you're sick of it. Like, I didn't have to do it in Madoches, but I decided to try it out. The Crystal Beast, that was the entire intention. Like, that, that wouldn't even been on Daily Duels if it didn't have the Performer Pal engine to help the Crystal Beast. Like, it's literally Forever Epic's thing, you know, and that's why it was on Daily Duels for the time that it was on here. So, yeah. Now I'm just going to hold on to this learning until 
he either summons something very powerful or summons a threat. Like, right now I'm okay. <laughs> you know, these twin twitches are pretty much useless. Like, I seriously doubt he'll be doing much synchroing, but. Wow. Wow. Opens up the dandy, has the one for one. Like, alright. Alright. Go ahead and summon your glow up, Bob. <laughs> oh, Jet Synchro. Right, I thought you were going to get glow up, Bob. They have a normal summon this turn, so you can go ahead and search for uh, search with him. So, search for that Junk Synchron. Yep. So that goes, of course, goes into formula, drop card. Hey, he opened up pretty well. I wouldn't be surprised if he busts out a Quasar right now. Would not be surprised. He just needs a level 5 Synchro. Does he have like a level 2 tuner? Yeah, he does. Yep. Yep. He can do it. Because he can summon... No, wait, he can't summon this bat. Because he can only use the effect once per turn. Maybe, maybe, maybe he might be able to do it. Gets away. Your turn, your turn. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out if he can go into Quasar. If he can, I, can, I, I mean, I do have Solemn Warning, so... And then if I do Solemn Warning, he goes Quasar. He might quit, so... <laughs> you know? Uh, I... It's just, it's like, really, like, pure aliens? They got one new fucking card. One new fucking card, and now all of a sudden, it's just like, play pure aliens, they're gonna be top tier shit! They're gonna win! Like, no, I'm not. I'm gonna get my ass destroyed. I was using performer piles, and I was still struggling. Like, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. It's getting real frustrated with everything. I really am, so. If you want next, I'm probably gonna get fucking crucified for fucking doing the fucking uh, Monarch Engine. Probably. Mm-hmm. God damn, he's just throwing straight up plus. He got cards that like neg like one for one, but he still, you know, opened up with six and now he has seven. Like he's plussing. <laughs> he, this motherfucker is plussing. Does he have level eater? He has level eater. See those two into Omega. Omega? That's a threat. That's a threat. Yeah, I'll warn that. I'm hoping that you're done. I'm hoping that you don't have anything else. Are you good? Are you good? I didn't open up too hot either. No, not done. Not done, people. Not done. You gotta lower darkness and do this, 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 and it's gone through its entire deck. Like, all right, you normal summon. You're done on your special summon. Are you done? You wanna go ahead and poke me for a fucking 24 and you're done, right? Then I can summon this, summon, you know, summon that. Should be summon that. It sucks that I don't have anything banished at the current moment. That kind of sucks, but. Yeah, go ahead, Mega, go ahead and put him back to the extra deck. That's fine. Like these twin twisters, like out of all the decks to draw, the fucking double twin twister on it's fucking synchro. Like I seriously doubt it gets this. Unless he's playing like king shit. Like if he's gonna do fucking king shit, then maybe I might get these out of twin twisters. Cause they already know that king shit. That royal penis is clean. Oh, fucking spore too. Like I know you only run one spore. Like holy shit. Like I might die because the fucking number generator and his resources just keep drawing and drawing and drawing, getting exactly the cards that he needs. Like all right, all right. So that's four. I can't think of a Sync 9 off the top of my head if you have one, so. It looks like you're just summoning those, just to summon those, so, alright. Probably end up killing the Spore. I don't think the Power Giant's gonna be too much of a threat. Yeah, that's not too much with that. I don't even know why you did that play. Ah, nice. I drew Pantheism, but I have nothing to do with it. Like, I could, I, I could do a really, really dumb play. Like, I'm extremely dumb. I can set the Pantheism. Twin Twister, my Pantheism. Pitching the Twin Twister, because I'm not going to get much use out of it. Pop it. Banish it. Search. Then do the play with ID. I think I think that I think that play is stupid, but it's better than nothing, because my hand is fucking trash. Like, so, we'll go ahead and do this. Um, I'm not going to Monarch Stoneforth. I don't think that's necessary. So, I think I'm just going to get Triple Domain. Like, and then Domain, once again, should probably be limited to one. I probably would be limited to one. Because <laughs> Pantheism and Domain, they just... One stupid searchy plus stupid, and the other one locks you out of playing. Like, that's fair. So, uh... Let's see if I'll catch that Veiler. If I catch that Veiler, then rip. You know, like, that, that's pretty much the end of this duel, if I catch that Veiler. Okay. <laughs> yep, so... Get the additional summon. Go ahead and tribute. Wait, I don't need to do that. Wait. I can just tribute you. Yeah. So. And just hold on to you. Um, I'm trying to figure out who I want to kill. You, you're a threat because you're a tuner, but then you. I want to spin back to the hand, but I think I might just spin. No. 
I don't want to spin back the spore. I want to kill the spore. I want that in the graveyard. No, you can only activate the effect the spore once you turn. Spin back the spore, run over the TK Hyper Librarian. That's right. That's right. All right. So we'll go ahead and do this. Reveal the Erebus. So, uh, really, we're just running. I actually made a 60 card version of this deck, but then I cut it. I started cutting things out. We were running like everything, people. Like, it was everything. A 60 card version of this deck? Like, hello? Activate you, grab that back, activate you, go ahead and send that Prime, send that Pantheism. Like you already know, uh, on the field, go ahead and put that back, because I'm not planning on attacking over that. I would probably summon you and attack, but I attacked over this as well, so that was that was my bad. You know, uh, that was totally my B. Alright, so then we will go ahead and attack you. That's gone. Like, what's the biggest threat that this thing really does to me? I'm not sure at the moment. And I can always get this back to my hand. Like, you already know. Like, I'm not running Ether. I'm not running Ether. I, I, I was going on. I was like, Erebus, Ether. Like, a lot of the level H, Trade-In, Allure. Like, I, I was going all out. There's a six-card deck, Chorus, Potty, Cupidity. Uh, we were going all fucking out. But I, I steadily cut it and cut it. I was working with Mal. So... If I get some Dark Lords, I'll definitely do some Dark Lord plays, but, you know, right now I don't have any Dark Lords, so, rip. Alright, so you want to go ahead and do your Jet Synchron, summon Jet Synchron, that's fine, but you can't access the extra deck, so. Sorry, I got Domain. Should it be limited to one? Yeah. <sighs> like Stormforth, Stormforth wouldn't be bad if Ether, like, I don't know, like, if, if I could only have two hits in Monarchs, I would say Pantheism and Domain. If I could have a third hit, it would be Ether, you know? Like some people say Monarch Stormforth, nah, Ether. Because Ether can still do shenanigans during your turn, even if they don't have Monarch Stormforth. Like, you know? It like, can still distribute a tribute, summon monsters, summon Karaz, and pop shit and interrupt your plays. Like, whoever thought about fucking, you know, Monarchs playing during your turn? It's weird. You're, like, you're a tribute monster. You're a tribute mechanic. What are you doing? Like, alright. Well, that was. No, no Dark Lords. We're running Dark Lords. You just didn't get them, so I guess we'll get another duel over here. Alright. God, got no Dark Lords in that deck, <laughs> you know? Uh, right now, I think I'm running two of the level 11, three of the draw one, and then two of the protection one, so. This hand, yeah, you know, I can surge, I can draw, so hopefully, Shanae, oh no, alright, alright, here we go, Raid Raptors, snore, alright, alright, time to fall asleep, rip. <laughs> oh my god, Raid Raptors, yep, and he got the tribute lanyards and everything, oh my god, this is, uh, I'm just, I'm just, uh, just, uh, uh, just tell me, I don't want to be rude, but seriously, tell me when you're down. I'm going to go ahead and fall asleep. <sighs> like, snore. Like, Rain Raptors, all they do is touch themselves and search and search and search and search and search and search and search. Like, I don't like this deck. I really don't like this deck at all. <laughs> so, this hand is pretty decent. I can play cast, uh, Casting Out and stuff like that. They'll actually have something in the Grave Raptor get another search. If I actually choose to summon them, I might be summoning them. Like, I don't know. For right now, I think I'm going to search for my level, my, one of the, like, higher levels, and then pitch it to draw. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Search Detach, search Fuzzy, special summon Fuzzy, go into another Strix, Detach, search again, like, oh my god, this deck, all it does is search. Just search an Ultimate Falcon, that's all it does. It's like... <laughs> uh, I played Rare Panthers on Daily Dolls for a month, and... It, it, it was just an ordeal of searching. Yeah. <gasps> what? You went to another one? Say, what? Yeah, detach the fuzzy, search, search for fuzzy. Like, I get it. You can search. I don't like Red Raptors. I really don't. It's like, all you are is just to search that deck and then just an invincible boss ass monster that you can poop out. Like, yeah, fucking Last Trick should. If, 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 if Red Raptors ever do something with that, Last Trick should probably be limited. And then what else? What else? They have, they have the fucking readiness. Like, alright, so that's gonna fucking stall out forever. It's just. It's a really annoying deck. <laughs> alright, so. I'll go ahead and get my uh, Dark Lord shit. Oh, that's cool. I can search out my trap card. Didn't even know that. Can I pitch my trap card? Or does it have to be a monster? You discard her and what Dark Lord follow one card? I believe you say Dark Lord, so I can actually pitch you. That's pretty, that's, that's legitness. I think I might do that. I think I might do that. Like, I didn't even know I could do that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, so. Go ahead and activate you. I'll go ahead and hold on to you, because I might summon a Dark Lord monster. Could you draw two? All right, well, yeah, uh, I mean, I can go ahead and summon you. It's not the greatest play. And then hold on to you? No, I think I'll, 
I don't know. I don't know. Then I can have, they said, once per turn, during either player's turn, I can banish, then target one Dark Way Spell Trap. This card becomes the effect of that card. Okay. I'm trying to think. I think I can Monarch Stormforth, then play Edos, then uh, give me the additional tribute summon to tribute his monster, my Edos, to summon uh, one of these two. Now, I'm debating on which I want to summon. I think I want to summon you? No, you're not strong enough. I gotta summon you. I gotta summon uh, Tetzcatl. Polka? Like, what the fuck kind of name is that? Hello? <laughs> so hopefully this goes off. If not, then rip. You know. We'll go ahead and summon Eidos. It'd be great if I had Domain. Like, fucking Domain, lock him out of the extra deck. Never mind, he has Solemn Strike. Never mind. Alright, I don't want to do this, though. Like, I can't do any plays, and then I would just watch. So, so let me get this chat. I watch you play with yourself, play with yourself, play with yourself, play with yourself. Then when I want to do something, no. Then you play with yourself, play with yourself, play with yourself. Like, no, 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 no. Like, Strike, you need to be limited. Fucking Raid Raptor is like, ugh. Like, if this shit ever does anything in Ultimate Falcon, like, good thing that we have Utopia Lightning, well, most of us, so you can handle it, but then you could just revive the fucking, uh, so you would have literally had, like, if it ever became a thing, everybody would have to throw in Ray, that way you would have two detaches with Utopia Lightning to handle the Ultimate Falcon twice. But last tricks, I mean, come on, come on, so, no, alright? Again, I'll do a bear back. So, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I need to work on Chemical Beans. That's on Daily Duels for Friday. I haven't even worked on that deck. I don't even know where to begin with that fucking shit. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I still feel like I give you guys too much power, but I want to give you guys power, but I don't want to give you too much power because then I get stuck with shit that I don't want to do. But then, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just in a slump. Like, I really, when it comes to my channel and the innovation, I'm just in a slump. You can DMs down. I can't do Yu Gi Oh! Draft like Season 2 like I wanted to do. Fucking everything is just so stale and dry, and I'm not, my channel's not growing. I've been doing this shit for four years now, and I'm still just super small. I don't know. I don't know. So, I just don't, I don't know what to do with myself anymore. I don't, I don't know what to do with myself. So, uh, I think I might just go ahead and draw a couple of cards, get deeper into my deck. So, I think I might pitch you and you and summon you, or, I don't know. I don't know. Some of these Dark Lord monsters, it's just like some of you, some of them you want and some of them you don't. But I think it's like if they have special summon, there's some Dark Lord monsters in your hand or deck up to number of effect monsters but controls. They don't control effect monsters, they just control set cards. So it's kind of, you know. I think I might just go ahead and do you, you pitch you, draw two. All right, so I drew into the same shit. So I think I'll go ahead and play you. The sad thing is, is that I think I might have to pay as in my domain because I don't have fucking shit right now. Like. Alright, I, I can actually do this. Send them Dark Lord Monster from my hand. So, I think I might get you. Like, if I bust out my Dark Lord, that'd be great, but uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it. And then, you're just a Monarch, right? I can reveal a Monarch to 2800 attack, 1000 defense. Nope, you know how to say, do you have, I know you have 28,000 and you have the, the defense? No. Alright. Alright, never mind, I'm okay. Never mind, I'm okay. So, I pitched the domain, which kind of sucks, but I guess I can go ahead and grab the domain back. So, Domain, Domain, and another Pantheism. <laughs> give me that Pantheism. <laughs> right? You don't, want that, you don't want to give me that Domain. Yeah, and I can only use the effect of Pantheism once per turn, but then I have another Pantheism so I can pitch the Pantheism and draw deeper into my deck. Like, and I can summon my idea, the idea of summon Eidos. And, like, you know, the Monarch, the Monarch Engine, it really helps, especially when you want to do Tribute Summon. Like, you probably guys are, like, the innovation is probably gone from this too. Uh, this is probably the third time I used the Monarch Engine too. I used it in BES, I used it in Earthbound, so now I'm using it in here too. So, you know, Rip, and then Performance Pals, I used it in uh, Madoches, I used it in, like, it, they're just really good engines, like, when, you, when you're able to take these lower tier decks and throw in that top tier shit, you already know that's gonna be great, you know, so, never mind, I drew the domain anyway, so, <laughs> never will fucking mind, drew <laughs> the domain anyway, so, we'll go ahead and summon you, you will go ahead and summon Eidos, like, this is one way to make the fucking shit good, one fucking way. We'll go ahead and play our domain because I drew it anyway. Then we'll go ahead and tribute summon you two to actually summon a Dark Lord. Squire, go ahead and get that Pantheism back. Like, a lot of this shit needs to be hit. A lot of this shit needs to be hit, so. Uh, I can go ahead and activate you, pay a thousand, go ahead and target you in my grave, uh, and then get a search, so it's pretty powerful. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and get you. I said, do I think that this shit's gonna be top tier shit? No, but I went straight up plus. Like, look at this shit. I started off with six, now I have eight. You know, that's, I think that's pretty powerful. I really do. So I'll go ahead and kill your monster. You locked out of the extra deck, and that's nice to slow you down and I have these beaters. Oh, and Shadal's too, and I have the locked out of the extra deck? Damn, boy. Like, all right. <laughs> 
All right, so it's your dolls. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And I got plenty of plays too. Like that's the sad thing. I don't think I need your doll occasion. The problem is that I'm kind of pondering on how you're going to handle this situation. I mean, it's fucking. Uh, what the fuck is going off? Oh, I know. Uh, I know some idea and shit. Like I just is going off. So I was like, what the hell is going off in the graveyard? And I'm pondering how you're gonna get out of this situation. And I got my protection, my other fucking tents. It's like, uh, when a dark monster I control will be destroyed by or by card effect, I can just pitch it to protect. I, you might just try to throw the regeki at me, and I can just be like, nah. <laughs> yeah, boy, I called that shit. I called that shit. Yeah, nah. <laughs> you know what I just started trying to throw the regeki at me? Nah. <laughs> wow, rip. <laughs> Damn, number generator. Yeah, I'm warning that. I'm warning that. Damn, he got the Regeki and the Mathematician, boy. It's like, nah. Because I know you're just going to send Dragon and try to pop my shit, so no. Like, <laughs> and then I can play Falling from Grace. Like, oh my god. Like, boy, get wrecked. Ha! <laughs> yep, get wrecked, shit all. <laughs> you ain't top tier shit anymore. I'm playing Monarchs. No, I'm playing Dark Club with Monarchs. So. Like I said, it's just their Erebus. It's not Ether. Uh, I mean, I'll do the deck profile eventually. Like, I could probably change things up by the time. I mean, we got an entire month of this shit, but for now, the just the first draft is just Erebus. Like, I was going all. I was probably. I was thinking about playing a sixty card deck. I should true not sixty card deck. Anyway, we'll get another duel. Bear back. All right, another duel. This will probably be the last duel, but I don't know. I don't know. So I'll try aliens without the without the performance powers, but I'm just not sure if it's actually going to be that great. So of course we can go ahead and play this. This can search for uh, what's her name? Yeah, her pitch draw. Like I need to get deeper into my deck, and you can see like, I was going to play Lura, trade in. Uh, Powder Cupidity. Like, it was a 60 card deck, but it, it had the shit. It had the shit. You know, so, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I could I could go all out and draw and all that, but I'm just not sure if that's actually going to be worth it. It's cool how I drew this. So, uh, I think for now, I'm just going to go ahead and take it slow. Just set the warning. <laughs> open up warning again. Like, damn, I talked about that. I gotta get a number generator. I think this is like the third time I opened up with a warning. I'm down, number generator. Like, I'm not blaming the opponent. I'm not blaming the opponent or the player. It's just, I'm blaming the fucking system, like, you know? Oh, it's fucking ignites. All right, so uh, if you don't pop my shit, I guess I'll allow you to touch yourself, and then when you pet him, so I'm going to hit you with this warning, and then you'll probably quit. Probably should set the Twin Twister, too, but I don't I don't like setting Twin Twister because I don't want them to Twin Twister my Twin Twister. Does that make sense? Like, I would much rather keep the Twin Twister in my hand, and then when you set to during my turn, Twin Twister, you sure you can change, but I'm probably going to Twin Twister at the start of the turn where I really don't have anything to commit to, you know? Unless it's, you know, you have a Twin Twister and you chain and pop another one of my sets that are already set. But you know, probably I'm end up using it during your turn. Like, I'm probably going to end up using it after you've done your Ignite, 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 Touch Yourself, Ignite, 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 And then you'll be like, quit! And I'll be like, yeah, GG! Ah... <laughs> 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 So you just go ahead and sit there and touch yourself. Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> no. Are you actually gonna set up your pendulum scales and actually pendulum summon this time? Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 All right. <laughs> I kind of got kind of got excited there. So I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's like the aliens. Like they got one new card, right? So all right, one new fucking card. It's not like they're an entirely different deck. They're still the same fucking shitty ass 2007 deck. Fiendish Chain, that's not good. Dead targets, it's kind of shitty, you know? Is it Fog Blade, that, I mean, that's chargeable, you know? So, I so it's Call of the Haunted, I guess that's one of the best shot cards in the game right now, so there's no argument there. There's Synchro Monster, like, like I bounce my and traps to target a card on the field and destroy it. Oh, that was so great in this fucking meta today. Like, no, that's bad, you know? Uh, I think the Performer Palace is good because I can return my fucking Monkey Board, my Pendulum Scales to do my effect? Like, yeah, buddy. GG. <laughs> Sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> mm, so salty. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what in the fuck? Wow. Rip. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. Uh, I think I want to get you. Like. And the sad thing is, I could crack his pendulum scales with Twin Twisty. <laughs> like that. That's the sad thing. That's the sad thing. So we'll go ahead and pitch you. Oh, hell, a sad face, boy. <laughs> wow. Just draw the same fucking shit. Like, I'm really trying to draw into something, but I can't draw into shit. Like, all right. Yeah, yeah, I would say you might as well just quit. I was going to twist and pop your scales. Like, wow, get wrecked. <laughs> sad. Hella sad face. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. All right. 
I mean, that's warning. Strike and warning, boys. Like, if the Daniels ever become top tier, I'm not saying that, you know, warning for stat three, stop pendulum. You, they, you have other cards, you have like Grand Horn and shit. But if they ever become top tier shit, you can easily stop that pendulum. It's a grand inherent and they all go to the graveyard. Like, mm. All right. I feel like one more duel because that was just kind of anticlimactic. I, I, I still was out of it. Like, I was going to Toon Twister, pitch the idea, and pop his pendulum scales, and then just set this. Like, that's really all I had. Like, mm. All right. No duel. Here. So, I don't know, I don't know. I guess I'll just play a whole bunch of back rows. It's American to put card in mind, but I want the alien monsters in my hand, so... You know? Saints coming in. Oh, and Dark Magician too? Like, yeah. 60 card Dark Magician, boys. Like, alright. <laughs> like, yeah, this this hand is kind of... Yeah. <laughs> Dark Magic Circle allows you to straight up play. I mean, if you reveal and you grab, I mean, you plus. That's pretty good. So, maybe I'll draw into two switches. Hopefully I'll draw into something. Like, I need to draw into... Monarch spell or trap, and he drum to a couple of cards. That's not what I needed at all. Like, all right, this hand's kind of officially shitty. Gets us at the one warning for now. Like, uh, this hand is shitty. <laughs> like, I don't want to go two in and then he'll dark magic attack my ass. The sad thing is I can't even fucking uh, strike him. Like that's that's the sad thing. I can't even strike it's him. If I were him I and mean, he had Eternal Song Dark Magician, I'd probably activate it. But eh, still, I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Because now I can get, what's her name, the level 10, and then pitch this to draw. So, get a little bit deeper in my deck. So that's good, that's good. Wow, rip. So, I guess I'm... <laughs> I don't want you to draw every time I do it. Fucking. Oh, you could just chain. You could just chain so it's still resolve. Like, never mind. Wow. Sleep card deck playing shared right. Like, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like you wanna you wanna even out with that, that's fine, but I'm not gonna allow you to plus. I thought it was after that, but yeah, I guess you could go ahead and chain it. Wow, air hummingbird boys, like Dark Magician Air Hummingbird gained three thousand life points. Alright, alright. What the fuck? Dark Magician Neo Spatian fucking <laughs> perform perform power odd eyes, like what the fuck are we seeing right now? Oh my god, like, nigga, I thought you were just playing 60 card Dark Magician deck. If you're playing that, I'm not even sure if you're ever gonna get the Dark Magician. So you're, playing, you're telling me you're playing 60 card deck with all that shit and you actually got the fucking, uh, the fucking, uh, reveal three and got the. Nigga, I play a 40 card Dark Magician deck and sometimes I don't reveal a Dark Magician this card. I'm like, wow. Alright. <laughs> what the fuck are we seeing right now? Like. Mm hmm. Wow, and you get that one? I don't even run that fucking Magician. I don't like her ass. I really don't. Oh, got another Erebus. That's great. So maybe I can actually draw into something. So we'll gladly pitch a trap card. It's cool that you can pitch a trap card. Say another shared ride. Okay. Well, uh, okay, okay. I'm okay now. I'm okay now. Actually, uh, I actually got something. <laughs> All right. So I guess I'll summon you. You summon you. You from the deck. Sure, you summon both the you for you. Uh, sun Pantheism, Sun Prime. Then I can go ahead and get Domain. That'd be pretty good. I think I might pick something from his hand. I don't know. I don't know. You know that sky would be nice. That'd be nice. Both of you. For you. Kinda wish I had pantheism already. But I don't have anything to pitch right now. I have pantheism in my hand, but it's from the deck and from the deck. So those two. Uh, on the field, and I think I'm only gonna get rid of one of your set cards, because this isn't a threat. This isn't a threat. fucking, uh, Maybe I got, uh, the, the, um, the, what's it called? Damn it, what's it called? Ah, oh, fucking, navigation. If I got navigate, navigation, then that, navigate, then that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I think I'll just go domain, domain, domain. That's the reason why you run three domains. It's kind of like domain monarchs, just domain, 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 just so you can fucking reveal and grab, right? That's nice. <laughs> Now, now we're actually in this duel, boys. Like, we're actually in this duel. Even if he gets rid of my monsters right now, I can still just go banish, summon, 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 you know, so I'm still in this duel. I'm kind of wondering if he actually wants to go Skyrim and pop his circle and then get another search. Maybe. Pendulum call. Top tier shit, boys. <laughs> Yeah, this card should probably be hit. Like, there's so many cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh is just a fucking mess. And we gotta wait so long to get a ban list and we never know when we're gonna get it. Like, there's just... It's fucking stupid, man. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. 
So go ahead and play your pit. Go ahead and play your, what's it called? Use your effect pitch, pop this, like definitely. Did you just play insight? Like, you know you can't use him to pop, right? You can't use his effect. Never mind, you're just gonna go straight for a pendulum summon. Let's go, boys. Just Dark Magician? Just Dark Magician? No. That will go off. If it was just Dark Magician and this wasn't on the field, I wouldn't care. But because Dark Magician, you're gonna use this to banish my shit? No. <laughs> what? 60 card deck gets fucking Grand Mole. That's fine. That's fine. Neo Spatian and all that is fucking. So I'm guessing it's a fucking. I don't. Maybe it's a Neo Spatian Dark Magician deck? Maybe? It's hard to tell. Because we saw Air Hummingbird. The Grand Mole, I can see that. He's limited to one. He, he, he's infinite balance. He's pretty good. He's pretty good, you know? Capole's Grand Mole, keeping the Mitch Girl, probably stay at one. Because, you know, that, that bouncing. That bouncing. <laughs> The sad thing is that I'm still okay, and I might, I'm thinking about maybe cracking your scales. It depends on how deep I can get into my deck. That's, that's the thing. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and activate Eidos to summon my last idea, because I drew idea. I think I still have one more Eidos. I'm running three and three, so. So, there's one right there, one right there. Yeah, I still have one more. But then this is it. This is it. So, this won't be summoning anything, so that kind of sucks. <coughs> um... Oh, right, you couldn't, you couldn't summon this. I was like, why didn't you summon this? You couldn't. Like, all right. Uh, then, of course, we'll once again try to summon you two for you. Then you activate your effect, you activate your effect. Go ahead and give me that pantheism back. Let's see if I can draw into Twin Twisters. That'd be great. So, um... Yeah, we'll send another one of you, and I guess we'll send one of you. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Uh, can I view I can I view his graveyard with any of my buttons? Yes, I can. A uh, pendulum call. I don't target. I don't target. I'm gonna do on the field. I'm gonna get rid of this. And I get that back. Then I can go ahead and I hold on to you in the graveyard. Let you pitch you draw deeper into my deck. Actually, I should have pantheism and search first. It's like a deck thing. Yeah, I should have left them because maybe I could have shuffled things around and shit like that. Uh, still don't really have anything. I can grab Lucifer. Lucifer might be able to fuck him up next turn if he does something to this and has an effect monster on the field. I'm not sure. At this point, we're literally just deck thinning, just thinning and thinning and thinning and thinning. So I still have something. I still have one more idea. Rip. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Because at least I could have went fucking Eidos idea and did that shit. And did those plays. So, we'll go ahead and do pan Pantheism. Like, just going straight up plus. Like, you already know what it is. Grab another Oh. Okay. Reveal all three. <laughs> I'm running out of Monarch cards. It's sad. Yep. Yeah, fuck it. You can have that. Like, alright. You can have that. Not even when I'm at Like, sure. I haven't used my normal summon. That's crazy, boy. I haven't used my normal summon. I could bust that. Are you once per turn? I don't think I don't think any of the monarchs are once per turn. Like I do, sorry, Edia. So I might be able to bust out another play, another monarch play. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Summon Prime. Summon Idos, and then summon yet another fucking uh, monarch. Like let's go. So we'll normal summon you. You will give me an additional normal summon. I thought when you were normal summon, I get another tribute summon of a monster. Hmm. Yeah, now I can't summon. When you discard normal summon during your main phase of this turn, you can tribute summon one monster in addition to your normal summon. You only gain its effect once per turn. Did I already gain that effect? I already gained that effect! Rip, rip, rip. I already gained that effect this turn. Wow. Hella misplayed. Hella fucking misplayed, Daniel. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, I can get another. No, no, no. <laughs> you already used that. You only get that effect once per turn, and I did it previously when I went uh, idea idos. My B, my B. That was, that was bad. That was bad. I'll, I'll, I'll fully, I'll fully take that punishment. Wow, well, that, that was bad. <laughs> so what? You're gonna just keep on? You just keep on grandma bouncing me. You're never gonna win this duel. You know that's that's not good. To just keep grandma bouncing me. Got my Lucifer, so if he has an effect monster, if he has a monster on the field, I can pitch, get all, summon all my fucking Dark Lords and shit. 
Damn. <laughs> so I just gotta summon the grand mole and bounce me again, 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 because you're you're getting wrecked, sir. Like <laughs> it's a feck monster, isn't it? Yeah, it's a feck monster. Fucking dark magician. <laughs> so I can't even get fucking like powerful ass uh, Lucifer. Uh, rip. I know you can't tap your pendulum scales. Maybe, maybe if you sky iris pop this and then get your lower scale or pop something on face up on the field, get like uh uh odd eyes at the lower scale. That's top of my mind, I can't think of an odd eyes with a lower scale, but alright, you don't want to summon Grand Mole this time. And take out my prime, even though I can summon it again. Like that's fine. I'm not sure if you would I'm not sure if you should have banished my domain or my prime. I mean, my prime. That's that card's a serious threat, monarchs like one of the best trap cards in the game right now. And then you summon it in main phase two? Nigga, really? Why would you summon that in main phase two? Like, I guess I'm misplaying too, but seriously? No, oh, and your turn. You're done. Hey, hey, you know what? Now he controls an effect monster. Now he controls an effect monster, boys. Like, all right, I, I gotta play. I gotta play. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Do you summon from the hand? Like you're, you're you're like going off. Like let me read you. Uh, target one in your graveyard. Oh no, you're gonna summon an idea for my graveyard. Oh, that's fine then. Yeah. Use you, banish you, summon you, and I can just use Monarch Stormforth. Yep. Use Monarch Stormforth. Show your Dark Magician tribute my idea. He's a Palace Monster, yes, that Dark Magician. And my idea to summon Lucifer. Idea and Lucifer. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me that domain back, boys. <laughs> and Lucifer, this is about to be game, unless he has like a, a mirror force or something. What the fuck is this? I like control plan has all damage you take discarding the. This card is sent from the field to grave or you can target one spell as well. Okay, so you're just gonna have all the damage that I do to you. That is fine. And we're actually gonna summon a Dark Lord motherfucking Zarado. Like, wow. But you didn't see that coming, then I can use the fact pit and then destroy all the monsters on this field. Like I do have a dark monster. That's one of the main reasons why we're doing this. And even if you cut the damage in half, I think this might be st still might be game. Like that's a sad thing. Yep, that's still game. Like, <laughs> wow. That was, that was a pretty decent play. That was a pretty decent play. All right, we're done here. So, I don't know if I'm going to get shit for doing the Monarch Engine here in this deck, but, I mean, it works. It works. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of Daily Jules. Like I said, you just need to do innovation. You got these lower tier decks. You're playing with Crystal Beasts and Aliens and fucking, you know, shit like that. We're playing fucking trash ass decks, so can you at least innovate and give them, you know, top tier shit to allow them to be competitive? Like, I'm not sure if it's just you guys want me to lose, you don't, you want to see pure aliens, which would suck the butt, or you just set tired of seeing perform pals. I mean, we could possibly do a different pendulum engine. I'm not sure, it's just, it has a lot of synergy with the deck, you know, and the plussing and the drawing allows me to draw into that card, at, that new card that I only have three of in my deck, you know, and do plays like that, so I don't know. I don't know, because just me straight up losing, like, I can't tell if some of you guys voted because you want to see it and see me innovate it, or you guys vote on it because you want to see me lose, and supposedly have me be salty, but it, well, I won't be salty, I'll just be fucking disappointed, like, like, wow, I lost again, and again, and again, gonna think I'm using the shitty ass deck, <laughs> like, really, aliens, aliens, you think I'm gonna fucking win some duels with aliens, like, nigga, this guy's using a fucking 60 card trash ass fucking shit, and his shit is still more powerful than a 40 card alien deck, like, no, no, so... I don't know. I don't know what to do. Anyway, I'm done here. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels, Dark Lords with the Monarchs. The plays are pretty good. Pretty decent. I will be back tomorrow. You'll be getting the deck profile for what little there is to fucking Predator Plants. Literally three goddamn monsters. So I had to innovate that deck. But you know, I didn't get crucified for that. And uh, 
be playing with the new tag deck on Thursdays, which is Destiny Heroes. Yet again, another shitty deck, and not unintentionally shitty, like Konami just doesn't want to give them support, give them anything decent, but you guys voted on that, so uh, I'll try to do something with that, once again, so I innovated that, so, and uh, if you haven't seen already, the, the deck profile for uh, Electronic Quarters, that also went up today, uh, same time as this video. So thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.